In this video, we're going to look at another part of the Oracle database called an index. An index inside of Oracle allows you to decrease the amount of time that Oracle needs to find information inside your database. It's an incredibly powerful way of uh, increasing the performance that goes along when you're doing queries against Oracle. And in this video, we're going to take a look at some of the things that we can do with indexes. This is the beginning video for indexes. Uh, one of the things that we'll learn inside of the Oracle database is that there are a tremendous amount of different options that you can use to create indexes and manipulate indexes inside your Oracle database. This is just the beginner video. We'll have other videos that have some of the advanced concepts that go along with indexing. But for now, let's just take a look at some of the basic things that go along with it. So what can indexes be used for? Indexes are used, like I said, to decrease the amount of time Oracle takes to retrieve information out of the database. So on fields that we know that we're going to query on a regular basis, it makes sense to have an index on them. Uh, an index uh, will allow the Oracle optimizer, and that's the engine that Oracle uses to find information and retrieve it out of the database. It'll allow the Oracle optimizer to go out there and uh, find things a lot more efficiently than if it didn't have an index. In many cases, if we don't have an index on a table and a column that we're querying, Oracle will have to do something called a full table scan. And a full table scan is when Oracle goes through and it basically reads every single row that's in a particular table. Uh, for the examples that we're going to be looking at, we're talking about really small tables, so we're not going to see any significant performance increase or decrease. But for tables that have a lot of information, we're talking about millions of rows, uh, making sure that you have the correct indexes on those tables can significantly decrease the amount of processing time that Oracle has to go through when it's uh, retrieving information out of the database. So as part of the standard installation for an 11G database, uh, we have a couple of schemas that have been created for us automatically. One of them is called HR. And there's a couple of tables that have been created in the HR schema for us automatically. Again, none of these tables have a tremendous amount of rows on them, so we're not going to see any significant performance increases. But we can take a look and see what's going on underneath the covers and see how hard Oracle is working to actually bring back the information that we requested. So I'm going to take a look at something called the Employees Table. And if we take a look at the employees table, we can see we have employee ID, first name, last name, email, a bunch of different columns that we would normally store information about a typical employee. Uh, if we use the SQL Developer tool, which again, I'm, I'm a big fan of because Oracle provides it for free and gives you a nice graphical way of looking at your database, we have the ability to look at a table and see all the things that go along with the table. So you can see that along the top here, we have stuff like we can look at the data, the different constraints that are out there, grants, statistics, triggers, flashback, all of those things. If we scroll over, we will see a column. And I'm moving too fast. Let me slow this down a little bit called indexes. This gives us an indication of all the different indexes that are associated with this particular table. So if, again, we scroll over, we can see the columns that the indexes are on. So we have a, an index on job ID. We have an index on the combination of last name and first name, email, employee ID. So we don't ha we're not limited to just building an index on a single column. We can have a multi-column index. If we know we're going to query the data out of our particular column, in a in a usual way. So someone looked at this employees table and said it's a very common thing to query on last name and first name, so let's bundle those together and build an index off that. That's a real common way of uh, querying the data. Once we have it set up that way, anytime Oracle sees that we're querying based on last name and first name, it'll say, oh, I have an index for that. Let me use that, and I'll go out there and get information uh, very efficiently. So one of the columns that we don't have an index on is something like phone number. So every time, anytime we query this table and we use phone number in our where clause, we're not going to be able to use an index. And SQL Developer is really nice in that it allows us to see uh, how Oracle is, is actually getting the information underneath the scenes. And we're going to go ahead and do that right now. So you see we have um, all of these different indexes out there. I'm going to query on some of these different pieces. And we'll let Oracle tell us how it's going to go out there and get the information. So I'm going to pick Employee ID. I'm going to start with that. And let me look at some data here. And again, I'm moving too fast for 
Oracle to keep up with. So we have employee data. So if I'm going to look at employee ID, and let's say I'm going to query it on employee ID 108, and I want to write a query for that, what would it look like? Well, I can say something like select star from HR employees where employee ID is equal to 108. End it with a semicolon, execute the statement. There's Nancy Greenberg. One of the um, buttons that we have up here is something called Explain Plan. So if, you, if you're on a particular query and you hit Explain Plan, what Oracle will do is it'll go out there and it'll show you how it's going to access the information to retrieve the data that you're looking for. And you can see here that we're going against a particular table, and Oracle said, hey, I have an index on employee ID that I can use to try and track down that information, and that's how I'm going to go against it. So if we scroll over to the right, it tells me that I'm going to use this particular index, and it gives me a costing factor. The costing factor is really a kind of a dimensionless number. It doesn't mean, you know, one CPU cycle or one minute or one second or anything like that. It's just kind of a, a, a relative number, and this becomes really important when you have really complex queries that have join statements and unions and a whole bunch of other things. Uh, it'll make it a lot easier for you to pinpoint where Oracle is working the hardest to get the information. So we obviously want that number to be as low as possible. That's about as low as you can get, obviously. So uh, going against a, a column that has an index on it uh, will be able to uh, do that very efficiently. Now let's pick a column that we know doesn't have an index on it. So uh, we looked at all of the indexes before, and we said that phone number doesn't have an index. So if I go here and I say where phone number, if I can spell it right, and I'm going to put a like clause in there, and I'll just put, you know, starts with a 5. And then I can execute that statement and see the actual result. Oop, quoted string not properly terminated. Let's put a quoted string there execute that statement again and you can see that all of the phone numbers that start with a 5 all of the information comes back again if I hit this little explain plan button here it tells me there's no indexes available for me I, I wasn't able to use any of the indexes that were out there and if I scroll over you can see I'm doing a full table scan on that particular uh, table, the employee table, and the cost is a lot higher. Again, because these tables are so small, we don't particularly care. Uh, the, the you know this number is really meaningful to us. The num the results come back virtually instantaneously. But again, when you're talking about really big tables, complex queries where you're joining different tables and and uh, various other pieces of the Oracle database together, uh, that number can really help you out. So we can see how indexing helps the Oracle engine figure out how to go out there and actually retrieve the information out of the database. If I want to create an index, I can do so inside of SQL uh, Plus here, uh, I'm sorry, SQL Developer here, where I can go ahead and say, you know, I want to create a new index. So I can look at all of the indexes that I own. If I click on the little plus sign here, it pulls back all the different information. If I want to create an index, I can go out there and just right click and say new index and I'll be taken to a wizard that will allow me to go through and say, okay, what do I want to actually build this on? I want to build it on HR. I can specify the table that I want to build it on. Boy, my database is running slow today. So this will come back and it should list all of the different tables owned by the HR schema and we'll pick the employees table and say, you know, on phone number, we want to build an index. All right, so finally this comes back and we can see here's all of the different tables that are available to me that I can build an index on. I'm going to choose employees. After I choose employees, it comes back and it gives me a default val. It gives me a default column that I want to put it on. I, say, nah, I don't really want it on first name, so I click on X there, and then I say I want to add a column. I don't want it to be employee ID. I want it to be phone number. That's the guy I want to add there. Whoops! So we'll get employee ID out of there. So here's phone number. Uh, I can call it. I probably want to call it something a little nicer than index one. I'll call it imp phone. IDX. I can look at the DDL, which is really nice, uh, so I don't have to use the graphical tool if I don't want to. And I can create an index, employee uh, phone index on employees, and I want to build it on the phone number. 
Again, just like when we built our um, table in the previous video, we used the wizard to do that. Uh, we can certainly click on the advanced button and we can see a lot more definition um, uh, uh, index pieces here that we can create as part of our index. This video is just created as a kind of a beginner introduction to indexing. There'll be other videos available that have a lot of the advanced indexing capabilities that Oracle provides for you. But for now, we're just going to keep it simple. So if we don't select advanced and we stay to the normal definition, we click on OK. The index is, will go out there and it'll be created. So that will have an additional index on this table. So not only will we have ones for employee name and uh, department ID and everything else, we'll also have one that's available for a phone number. You might be saying to yourself at this point, well, why not just put an index on everything? Uh, we have, um, you can see here on employee, we have department, e uh, email, employee ID, job. There's the phone index that we just created. And there's a whole bunch of different naming conventions that you can use. Uh, I used IDX. The default ones that Oracle uses have IX. UK stands for unique key. So we don't never have an employee with uh, more than one employee with the same email address. And that makes perfect sense for that. Why not put an index on every conceivable column that we might ever query this particular table on? There's challenges with that also. You don't want to have too many indexes on there because every time a record gets inserted, all of the indexes have to be updated, obviously. So that's a lot of extra work that Oracle has to do behind the scenes. Also, when anything gets deleted, when any rows get updated. So if you have a lot of transactions going inside your database, and um, you have too many indexes on particular tables, it can really slow down the processing pretty significantly inside your database. Another thing that this really affects is something called import and export. Import and export are a couple of utilities that Oracle provides to you uh, to allow you to move data around between databases. And if you do that on a regular basis where you're exporting data and then you try to import it to another database, if you have all of these indexes defined, it's going to really slow down that process because not only does Oracle have to insert the data, it has to update all of the indexes that are associated with that table also. So this is a primer video on indexing. We'll have some more videos on some of the advanced features of indexing, but this will get you started uh, with indexing inside your Oracle database.